serve as a prison and execution quarters during the Bolshevik Revolution in the early 20th century. Today, it's what? part of the Cop top 10 places to visit in St. Pittsburgh. I believe this is St. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a place in Russia. And this hey, what's up guys, your boy Frank Tony back again with another reaction video of the day. Today we're going to react to 10 top 10 places to visit in St. Pittsburgh. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I'm Frank Tony. I do reaction videos all the way from Canada. So if you guys are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Guys, let's get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I really appreciate it. 300... 300 subscribers let's get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year and don't forget to go follow my instagram so you guys can see behind the scenes of what of how i do my youtube videos and what i do during my day go follow my instagram and nothing but not the least guys if you guys are new and watch my videos and do not hit that, that subscribe button hit that subscribe button there's 95 percent of you guys that watch my videos that do not subscribe so hit that subscribe button i really appreciate that so hit that subscribe button like the video and yeah let's see let's let's see what we got going on let's see to visit in 10 best places to visit in St. Petersburg. Moscow may be the capital of Russia, but if you are a culture vulture, then St. Petersburg is the city for you. A port city on the Baltic Sea, it offers everything you could want from a city break and more. Home to the Hermitage, one of the largest and most stunning art museums in the world, surrounded by canals and home to yeah. beautiful white nights when the sun never sets in summer. This city is regal and inspiring. First time visitors okay. should start at the Hermitage Museum, a museum so large, it is literally Heritage Museum, Heritage Museum, I'm gonna remember that. It's impossible to see it all in one day. And the beautiful Nevsky Avenue, flanked Sheesh. by opulent Look at that view. restaurants, Look churches, that view. and palaces, and a great palace for people watching. The Peterhof Palace Complex requires a day trip out of town, but it's a must see and one of the highlights of a trip to St. Petersburg. Whether you already know what to do when visiting or are looking for more ideas on how to spend your time, take a look at our list of the top 10 best places to visit in St. Petersburg. Before we continue, make sure to incoming video. Yeah, subscribe button, guys. But number 10, number 10. When I come to Russia, guys, I need the tour guide. Someone, 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 someone should be my tour guide. Someone should, should be my tour guide when I come to Russia. Cruiser. Or I, want, I want to go to St. Petersburg first, actually. Aurora. The protected cruiser is a retired Russian Aurora. naval ship with an armored deck. Damn. Built in the early 1900s. It served during the Russo-Japanese War in 1904 to 1905 and survived the Battle of Tsushima where Russia suffered massive losses both in human lives and in the number of ships sunk or Damn. destroyed. Look how big that thing is. Damn. It was also a shot from an Aurora cannon that marked the beginning of the Russian-Russian Revolution in 1917. The Aurora is now anchored on the River Nova and is the most visited branch of the Central Naval Museum. What the heck? Why is Samsung? Why is, is that Samsung? Why is Samsung headquarters right there? What? Samsung headquarters is... Damn, I didn't know they had... Wow. Visitors can tour six different rooms on board the ship, where Just they can see. see recreated snippets of everyday life, including how people ate and slept, photographs and paintings, and model ships. While access to the Aurora is free, the engine room is only accessible for an extra fee. The view That's from sick. the deck of the Aurora is stunning, with imperial buildings and rocking waters all around. Wait, but does the ship still work? Does does the ship still like move, or is it just has it just been sitting there? So let me know down comment section. Nine, rivers and canals. Saint Petersburg's canals once played an important role in preventing floods, and while they still do keep waters at bay, they are now mainly used for transportation and to enjoy beautiful cruises down the Neva. The canal system stretches mm. for wow. over 300 kilometers. With I want to go, I want to go on one of these. Like you see how it, it, like it, when the ship is about to pass, the thing opens like this. I want to go on one of those. That would be so cool. Hundreds of bridges, both pedestrian and for traffic, crossing over them. The two most popular waterways are the Grijdov Canal Grijdov. and the Winter Canal. The Griboyedov Canal flows under. Tw this looks like uh, Picky Blinders. 21 bridges and alongside some of the city's most famous landmarks, including the Church of Our Savior on the Spilled Blood. The city's shortest canal, the Winter Canal, 
runs by the Winter Palace and the Hermitage Theater. Both small and large boats are available to travel through the canals, some offering food, live music, or special English language tours, oh, including special rides to watch the Bascule Bridges opening at midnight. That's sick. 8. Mariinsky Theater. Catherine the Great boarded the formation of the Imperial Opera and Ballet Troupe in the late 18th century. Mariinsky Theater? But it wasn't until 1860, almost 80 years later, that the company got its own theater. Once it opened, Mariinsky Theater was the most preeminent music hall in Russia, the place where major masterpieces from Tchaikovsky and Mussorgsky were first premiered. What's, what's, what's Tchaikovsky and what, what did you say Tchaikovsky and what? Place where major masterpieces from Tchaikovsky and Mussorgsky Mussorgsky, wait, wait, what is that? What is that? were first premiered. A masterpiece of neoclassical architecture with neo-Byzantine design elements, the Mariinsky Theater looks opulent from every angle, from the U-shaped auditorium to the ceiling mural to the massive crystal mm. chandelier. Not too Today, bad. Not too bad, not too bad. The theater is one of the most prestigious cultural institutions in St. Petersburg. If you plan on attending a premiere or a popular performance, such as The Nutcracker in December or January, you will need to get tickets well in advance. Bro, you sit so comfortable though. Seven. Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. Okay. One of the most beautiful sites in St. Petersburg is this multicolored church designed in traditional medieval Russian style. Ooh. Alexander the Yeah, this is the, this is this is this is like this is mostly the place when I see like Russian YouTubers when they do a video, they come here to make videos in this place. Three ordered church blood. One of the church of what? Seven. Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. Hmm, okay. One of the most beautiful sites in St. Petersburg is this multicolored church designed in traditional medieval Russian style. Alexander III ordered its construction in 1883 on the site where his father had been assassinated two years prior. It took a Alexander, wait, Alexander III built that? On the site where his father had been assassinated two years Alexander III built this. Years Damn. prior. It took over 20 years for the church to be finally completed, partly because of budget and partly because the materials needed for its interior decor weren't that easy to come by. The church was seriously damaged during the Russian Revolution in 1917, which was then used as a mosque during World War II and as Damn. a potato warehouse right after. That's sick. Wow. Damn. The inside it took almost good. 30 years of restoration to get the building to its original splendor, but rather than reopen it as a church, the structure is now a museum of mosaics. That's sick. Six, Nevsky nice. Avenue. It was named after the Alexander Nevsky Lavra Monastery that sits on this same street. The 4.5 kilometers long Nevsky Prospect or Avenue is the heart of St. Petersburg, home to the 18th century Great Destiny Dvor one of the oldest shopping arcades in the world. This place also hosts lots of high-end shops, fancy restaurants, Ooh. and luxury hotels. This place is all about opulent architecture here. Palaces and churches stand side by side, okay. including the theater Baroque Stroganov Palace. Baroque Stroganov. I hope I said that right. Baroque Stroganov. And churches stand side by side, including the theater Baroque Stroganov Palace. Baroque Stroganov Palace. Palace. The oh, early that, uh, 19th century Kazan Cathedral and the Russian National Library housed in a building dating back to the 1700s. Even if you don't plan on doing any shopping here, the lights and atmosphere of this avenue That's are still nice. worth a visit. Along the way, you'll find street artists, an original movie theater dating back to 1913, and the Anishkov Bridge, which was seriously damaged during World War II. Damn, so much traffic. Holy... Holy. Two, and restored without removing traces of shell damage from Nazi guns as a reminder of what happened here. Five, Vasilyevsky Island. Damn, Volkswagen, Volkswagen. Let me know, guys, what kind of cars do you guys like? Do you guys like Volkswagen? I don't like Volkswagen at all. I don't like Volkswagen at all. Ew. Five. 
Vasilyusky Island. Damn. It is located just across the river from the city center and the Winter Palace, which is connected to the mainland by two bridges and Sheesh. a metro line. Okay. This small island is home to a number of landmarks and beautiful parks, including a museum of electrical transport, the Peter the Great Museum of Anthropology mm. and Ethnography, the old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange, and the Baroque Menshikov Palace, which serves as a branch of the Heritage Museum and holds mainly 17th century Russian art. The Russian Academy of Sciences has several branches on the island, as well and visitors might particularly appreciate visiting the- What the heck? Is this a police car? Damn, why does it look so weird? The Institute of Russian Literature which holds original manuscripts of some of Russia's most famous writers, including beloved poet Alexander Pushkin. 4. Elisev Emporium When this building was inaugurated in 1904, it was one of the most luxurious structures of its time. This might not be the case anymore, but the Art Nouveau details, stained glass windows, crystal, metal candelabra, and handwell patterns are still quite impressive. The main attraction here, however, is the window displays, which feature moving puppets representing characters from the Nutcracker. Today, Ooh. this retail complex focuses mainly on wait, food. Wait, is it? I did talk. Wait, I did talk about like the Nutcracker show, like the, uh, what's it called? Barbie? No, no, Barbie. Is it Barbie and the Nutcracker? Am I? Tr I don't know. I don't know if it's the Nutcracker. I think. I think I, you guys know if I'm what, what I'm talking about. With the most famous stop inside being the Alisiva Merchant Shop, Russia's oldest confectionery shop, which also sells high-end meats, spices, and dressings. The Alisiva Emporium is also home to a unique homemade ice cream shop selling flavors such mm. as spicy basic and strawberry, okay. green tea with jasmine, and tender violet. Beautiful. Hand-carved wooden souvenirs of traditional figures from Russian folktales are also available here. Damn. 3. Palace Square Ooh. This square is known- Palace Square? I'm a con Okay. Okay, Palace Square. Okay. Looking nice. Looking nice. Looking nice. Okay. As the city's main square, which is a massive open space in front of the Winter Palace, the Alexander Column, built in the 1830s of a single piece of red granite, stands 47 meters tall at the center of the square. It was commissioned by Alexander Damn. the First to commemorate the victory. Why is Alexander the First in Russia? I never knew he was from Russia. Why, why, is, he that, why is he that most? He is mentioned Alexander the First, Alexander the Third. But did they all go to Russia? Were they from Russia? Victory against Napoleon. Many major events in Soviet history have to commemorate the victory against Damn. Napoleon. Many major events in Soviet history have taken place right. Do people live in here? So let me know. Do people live in here? Right on the square, Tsar Alexander II was shot here in 1879, and Bolshevik troops started the revolution here in 1917 by storming the Winter Palace, where the royalty live. Since then, the square has also been used for marches and demonstrations, from military parades to celebrate Victory Day to New Year's Eve celebrations. 2. Peter and Paul Fortress Oh, Peter and Peter Paul. and Paul Fortress was originally a fortified area meant to protect the state from foreign attacks. Oh. It was constructed in 1703 and then extended and modified Sheesh. for the following four decades. Damn, look at the interior. Okay. While the fortress never saw any actual combat, it still has a dark story behind it, Allah. as it served as a prison and execution quarters during the Bolshevik Revolution in the early 20th century. Today, it's what? part of the- What? Come on. Why do you name a building Peter and Paul and then it's a bit an, it was an execution building or a prison? Come on. Bolshevik Revolution in the early 20th century. Today, it's part of the State Museum of the History of St. Petersburg. Within the walls of the fortress and surrounded by beautiful gardens and stone paths, there are several buildings. Perhaps the best known is the 18th century Peter and Paul Cathedral, the final resting place of Russian Tsars, prison cells a city museum, and the St. Petersburg Mint Building, founded in 1724 to manufacture coins 
and still in operation, oh, is also damn. located within the walls of the fortress. One State Hermitage Museum, State founded Hermitage. when Empress Catherine the Great started acquiring works of art in the late 1700s. Now nah, this is actually nice. This is nice. How long did it take them to build this? Like, do you see how much like it's it's like it's like aligned properly. The museum didn't officially open to the public until 1852. Today, the Hermitage is the second largest art museum in the world after the Louvre. And it's Second? home to a collection of over 3 million items. The Hermitage Damn. technically occupies six buildings, although the main part of the museum, and the building most people associate with the museum, is housed in the Winter Palace, which served as the home of the Russian emperors until 1917. And it's a massive structure with 1,500 rooms. In addition to French. neoclassical and impressionist art, Flemish Baroque and Italian Renaissance exhibits. The museum also holds an impressive collection of Russian art from the 11th to 19th centuries, a sizable 19th century Egyptian antiquity collection, and a hall showcasing prehistoric art. The Hermitage has the largest collection of paintings in the world, spanning many countries and centuries. Damn. Those were some of the I like that picture. I like this. It actually looks nice. Centuries. Those were some of the 10 best places to visit in St. Petersburg brought to you by Grace Media. Please remember to like. May please remember remember guys to hit that subscribe button guys. Hit that subscribe button. Where should we leave it at? Okay, this one okay, this one doesn't look too bad. This one doesn't look too bad. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button for more reaction videos. But damn nah. My favorite place? Let me show you guys. Where was it? My favorite place. I want to go. I want to go to the Church of Savior. Oh, I don't know why they call it that though. But I want to go to the Church of of Savior on Spilled Blood. And where's the other one that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And the Palace Square, and then Palace Square, and then. Peter, Peter and Paul Fortress. Those are the three places I want to go. Those are the, those are the three ones I really like. That I like I like to see. So, Peter and Paul, um, something Palace, Peter and Paul, Palace Square, and Church of the Savior, Spirit of Blood. Those are the three places I want to go visit. Those are the three places I want to go visit. But anyways, let me know where you guys are playing. If you guys are bit St. Pittsburgh, let me know your own favorite place that you 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 want to be at or where you've been to in St. Pittsburgh. Let me know down in the comment section below. And feel free to recommend any any other videos you guys like videos that you guys love to see me react to down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This video boyfriend Frank Tony Game with another reaction video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers, guys. 3000 zero, zero, zero subscribers before the end of the year. Come on, guys. 95% of you guys are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button for more reaction videos. I really appreciate that, guys. It motivates me to make more reaction videos for you guys. So hit that subscribe button, like the video. Let's get to 50 likes on this video. And comment down in the comment section your thoughts or opinion on this video down in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.